to our brand new episode here on 1950s Farm. So as you can see we've got the sprayer out today, we're going to put some uh, liquid fertiliser on and that will be the final push for both this crop and um, uh, our soya bean uh, field. The big soya bean field uh, I've done off camera um, just because as I say it's, it is huge and it, it does take a very long time to do. Um, but uh, yeah this field and our soybean field to do and then that's all crop preparations then done for for this year and uh, as I say I think probably July I think July that wheat will be um, ready and fit to harvest but of course it could it could well go into uh, August but I, th I think next month um, that's going to be ready to harvest so that will kind of be good because it will set the harvest gap between the wheat and then the soya bean fields apart a little bit which will be good <clears throat> Now, making no promises at this moment in time, just because, as I've said many times before, I'm not very computer literate and I do struggle with uh, sort of <laughs> the technical aspects of sort of computers, and it's taken me a long time to sort of get to grips with editing videos and making videos sort of half presentable. Um, but what I would like to do is when when the uh, the time comes to harvest the big soya bean field I would maybe like to do that as a live stream now if I'm correct and the live stream works off my in-game screen recorder which I'm assuming is how it works then I'm only going to be able to do about two hours because that will only record for two hours before it stops and then you have to sort of go again sort of thing to get another two hours so I'm not sure of the practicalities all of the, uh, at the moment and whether it's going to be sort of possible or whether it's going to be something that's going to be uh, able to be done uh, but that's what I would like to do just because, as I say, that field is mammoth. It's going to take a lot longer than two hours. But I just thought that rather than me sort of, you know, coming in one episode and going, oh, I did it all off screen, it would be nice if, uh, you know, you could see some of it being done. So uh, that's the uh, that's the uh, sort of hope, if you like, that um, I might be able to do it. Uh, off screen I'm gonna have to just lift the camera up ever so slightly here um, just so as I can see where I'm due next which I think is here but uh, yeah so that's what I would like to do the other thing that uh, I would uh, that that uh, I may well be doing hopefully sometime this week uh, Recording schedule is all over the place at the moment. Uh, Easter holidays and my little boy, but um, I was uh, messaged, or someone in the comments left a message and said uh, about doing this uh, 200 horsepower challenge on Calmlands. Now. I was going to be doing a third series and the third series that I was going to do was going to be originally on Homeworld and then I found a fantastic map called Fen Edge and unfortunately for whatever reason it loaded the first couple of times but it now won't load. I've re-downloaded the map, I've taken out all sort of known mod conflict you know mods that have caused problems for me in the past and nothing that I try works um, so I I don't know 
so that was going to be my uh, third series and of course the third series is going to be the mega farmer series where we were going to do everything factories animals you know farming on a massive scale starting from sort of you know medium size farm to working up to a massive farming organization my sort of thinking behind it was and while I appreciate you know 99.99% of you have got no idea who Lincolnshire field produce is but in the area where I live they are considered uh, the biggest farming organization uh, around they have many 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 thousands of acres of arable of dairy beef cattle pigs uh, vegetables so potatoes carrots onions literally that is a farm that does everything um, it is huge uh, I worked there for one summer uh, I went and helped out on the grain and potato cart uh, honestly it is huge it is like literally spread all the way across Lincolnshire the farm bases and, and uh, different things like that so that was kind of going to be my inspiration but until I can get Fen Edge to work then I sort of kind of going to need something in the meantime and whilst recording these two episodes does take uh, you know a great deal of my time in terms of editing and making sure that you know these videos go out every day um, I would like to do a third thing something just to break it up and I think what I'm what I might do is is the third thing might be uh, I may well make it a weekend series that was, was originally what Fen Edge was gonna uh, be was gonna be a weekend series so uh, two episodes and you know that's how I was gonna do it but yeah I may I may do the because uh, one or two well I'd say I had this message from uh, from uh, this person and um, and they sort of you know said they would quite like to see see it done on the channel so uh, while I uh, await getting the uh, Fenage map up and running and working for me which I'm sure at some point will happen um, then um, though I think I might do that so hopefully and I'll keep you posted but hopefully this weekend might be if everything goes well might be the first weekend that we do it so there's quite a few YouTubers doing it and apparently it uh, drives subscribers and, and people are really enjoying it so and as a new channel uh, as I've said many times before comments likes and subscribes you know really help to push the channel forward and um, you know in pushing the channel forward we can bring what I hope is good content to a lot more people and um, you know it's good for everyone so I think I might well be doing it on the subscriber front uh, for what seems to be like the third or fourth time this month uh, a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed uh, because at the start of April the target was 125 uh, subscribers by May 1st well yesterday we hit the 175th subscriber <laughs> um, so the target has changed again it's changed to 200 I'm keeping it in the 25 increments uh, just because that's how I've sort of always done it and so I'm going to keep it so 200 by May the 1st um, honestly it's been incredible uh, last weekend from sort of Thursday through to yesterday was a little bit of a slower day for the channel but um, 
uh, from Thursday till you sort of yesterday evening. Honestly, I've just been blown away by uh, the support and everything that everyone has done. So a massive thank you because, as I say, I've been getting lots of comments, which is great. You know, lots of nice comments and uh, loads of likes. And, and it really does help. And it means so much to me because as i say you know when i sort of said i was going to do youtube there was quite a few people that sort of went are oh, you wasting your time you know you'll not do anything on youtube you know and um it, it has offered me a real sense of uh, achievement so uh, i thank you uh, all for the help and everything that you've given I tell you what it's not easy to see where you've been and it doesn't also help as i've said many many times before that the textures just sort of skew with off and <laughs> so it means it's sort of a bit further and i think oh crikey i'm i'm overlapping by a long way like i am now um and then all of a sudden it's kind of like oh the texture's gone back again and uh, i'm now not uh, actually hitting all of the <laughs> uncovered land but uh, anyway I'm going to time lapse it. We'll go into um, our soybean field and we'll get that done and then we'll see where we're at. So I'll see you in a minute. Bye.
everybody. I'm back. So as you can see, we're just uh, feeding the cows. Um, their food has uh, obviously ran dry again. These cows do eat a blooming lot, I'll tell you that much. But um, So we'll just feed these off. As you could tell from the hay store, got all those hay bales collected. Uh, well, baled and collected. Uh, I did that off camera just because, it, uh, to be fair, you've seen quite a bit of it anyway, but um, it did also take a little bit of time as well with uh, my little hay bale trailer and loading it with the forklift because, as uh, you know, I'm not uh, the greatest with the... Uh, with the um, forklift and collecting bales and stacking, so decided to uh, to do that off camera but um, yeah as I say I think next episode I'm, I'm hoping that that uh, wheat is going to be ready to combine because we're out of straw uh, so to be fair the the uh, straw the the wheat field that I had last year um, that I uh, started with at the end of uh, as I say the sort of uh, first episode um, that straw has lasted really well actually uh, because as I say it has now run out, but we're about to hopefully get combining that wheat. Uh, so that will be uh, a massive, uh, a massive help, and as well, it will also mean that um, we will have uh, quite a bit of straw. Because not only will we obviously have the wheat field there, which should give us enough straw, we'll also have um the soybean fields uh to give us some uh, soy straw as well so i'm hoping <laughs> we won't be running out of straw anytime soon i think that wheat field alone will give us more than enough field for for the winter um yeah so as i say like and then the rest of it whether we sell uh, i probably will be selling uh, my straw because uh, as i say the dairy farm you know even back in the 1950s was producing its own sort of straw it was producing its own hay as well uh, but I, I just sort of thought it would add to sort of uh, a gameplay element in a way that uh, you know we provided the hay off our fields but uh, it was something that the dairy farm obviously was able to do themselves um, but with us ploughing up at our, that's coming off there. With us ploughing up our, uh, uh, well, certainly half of our big field, um, the dairy farm is um, soon going to have to be finding a, an alternative source of hay. Um, I mean, I could, I, in a way, I, I, I guess I could. Uh, oh, toe rack. Darn it. Didn't realise I was so close. I'm not done very well. I misjudged where that wall was, um, but I'm sure you didn't see that. That's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I misjudged where that wall was. Alright, uh, let's back that up. Should be able to back that onto the light. light. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's gone a bit peak tong in the last uh, few minutes. Uh, we'll sort that bale out in a second. Seeing as there is a cow at this end. I will close the gate. I don't think, uh, well, I know they can't escape, but, but um, is that gonna lift it? Nope. What about this time? Yep. Yeah. Didn't quite get it on the forks right that time. But yeah, so as I say, that's uh, wheat field. So next episode, we will be getting the combine ready and uh, getting ready to, uh, as I say, harvest that field. Uh, we've got uh, our trailer ready as well. So that's always a, a handy bit of kit when you're harvesting, I think. Uh, I think it's fair to say. So we've got our trailers ready. We've got um, 
as I say, we've got to get the combine ready. And then uh, we'll be away with the big cut. I have to admit, actually, um, while I was uh, doing the spraying, which uh, wasn't always easy to see where you were due next, but um, while I was doing the spraying, I was thinking about the Calm Lands Challenge, and I'm actually quite looking forward to that. It'd be quite interesting. It surprises me that they've sort of set the one of the rules that it's you have to be on easy difficulty. Uh, I don't normally play. On, well, I don't play on easy difficulty just because it is too easy. Uh, so I, uh, I usually, uh, well, I always play on hard settings and um, to uh, have a challenge set, and then the sort of person or people or whoever who set the challenge sort of said, "Oh, on easy difficulty, it's kind of like okay, that's going to be fairly straightforward." To do then, <laughs> you know, there's not too much in the way of uh, of challenge there, sort of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll give, as I say, we'll give it a go. I think because a lot of the uh, YouTubers that are doing it are sort of saying there's no um, sort of end goal, if you like. I think we probably ought to set an end goal uh, just because of the fact that. It is on easy uh, difficulty, and uh, yes, there's no leasing. Yes, you can only use mods from the mod hub, and like you can't use sort of external mods. Uh, auto drive was allowed, um, but I'm probably going to swap the auto drive for course play, uh, just because I don't really get on with auto drive, and I don't really use it all that much um, like I say me and auto driver uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what can I say we're strained friends I sometimes I can kind of get the hang of it and other times uh, you know no I can't and uh, so I, I don't tend to use it uh, which is a shame because uh, you know the, it does look a great mod um, but as I say I just sort of can't really get it to work for me but um, so uh, as I say I'll be swapping that one out for uh, course play because I do I apologize if you heard my chair squeaking um, but uh, I do use course play uh, quite a lot just because I do like the sort of two tractors in a field or two or three tractors in a field and you know sort of having other jobs being done uh, whilst, uh, you know, sort of, uh, whilst uh, I'm sort of tractor driving as well, so I uh, I do tend to, uh, as I say, have course play, but uh, for for the majority of it, I will be doing it uh, self farming, so it'd be just me doing mo pretty much all of the work uh, because I think that, again that will add a little bit more uh, challenge to it uh, also as well I've kind of from another youtuber that I kind of watched just to kind of get the premise and the idea of the challenge uh, they they did a random field select and they got a field that they really weren't happy with uh, just because of its uh, distance from the store and distance from all the cell points on the map and this, that and everything else. So I think I'm going to choose that field again because that offers quite a bit of um, challenge uh, and um, we won't be using store deliveries or anything like that. So anything that we want we have to go and fetch and we have to bring back. And as I say, because I don't use... Uh, auto drive and because I can't no longer set up course play to do courses because I can't save um, I just can't figure out how to save stuff on course play now so I only use course play for field work which is fine because that's you know sort of kind of the most important thing to me so um, I don't I don't tend to worry the fact that I can't sort of for whatever reason get to grips with the saving of 
courses and then finding them and then reloading them and joining courses together. It, I used to be able to do it 17, 19, honestly, you know, would consider myself a, a connoisseur of the course of the course play world. I could get them grain cut and I could get them this, that and everything else and, you know, fetching stuff, selling stuff and all of that, you know, no problem. But since they've changed it for 2022, like I say, the only thing that I can still get to work every time uh, is is the field work. But it's the one that I, if I had to choose of all the functions cosplay had, yes, I would like the um, corn carton to be the same as what it was in sort of 17 and 19. Uh, you know, just because, as I say, I, I you know sort of had it set that way, but it isn't to be so. As I say, you know, but we do have the, uh, we do, oh, we have got a little bit of straw. Oh, well, that's surprising then that we haven't got any manure. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, so as I say, but um, for the most part, I'll be doing, you know, pretty much all of the work. And I don't know whether it's you can only have one 200 horsepower tractor or whether it isn't. You can have 50 tractors, but none of them can be higher than uh, 200 horsepower. So that was sort of the one question that I kind of had from the video that I've seen is, is it only one tractor you can have or is it you can have multiple tractors, but you can't, they can't go over 200 horsepower, uh, which, you know, again, is, uh, you know, I think sort of maybe we should limit it again to maybe three oh and manure suddenly arrives <laughs> right on cue almost uh so yeah you know maybe we should limit it limit it limit it to a couple of tractors again just to make life a little bit tougher and uh and see how we get on really just you know as i say like i'm looking forward to it but anyway that's enough rambling for this uh, episode um as you see, we've sprayed the uh, the uh, corn and the soybeans. We have not in this episode, but we've collected the hay. We've got a good amount of hay now. Can I get in there? No, I'm not allowed in there apparently. So we've got a good amount of hay now, uh, which is good. And then, uh, as I say, we'll probably get another cut of hay uh, off uh, our two fields. And then, um, and then we'll be ready to start ploughing half of our big one up. And I would like to get some beef cattle as well. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, would uh, as I mean, it, it fits in with what happened uh, on Harry's farm. That uh, I think it was year three that he got a beef cow, and we're a little way off that anyway because uh, we don't really have the money, and uh, there's still one or two other little bits and pieces that we need to do. Do I want to check how much milk we'd got? Is it worth doing some milk runs? Uh, milk, yeah, probably worth doing some milk runs. <laughs> So anyway, that's enough for this episode. Thank you ever so much for joining me with this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now.